Today, I'm responding to the claim that the ability to own assault weapons poses unnecessary risks to our society. I will prove this claim is false by showing that, one, the advocate's secondary claim that assault weapons produce a greater threat to society than any other type of firearm is false. Secondly, I will prove that these assault weapons can and do fulfill sporting purposes. Um, and last, I will explain that the Federal Assault Weapons Act ban did not result in a significant decline of their use in crime. To, first, to prove that assault weapons do not produce a greater threat to society than any other type of firearm, I would like to re-examine statistics and claims made by the advocate. The advocate claimed that assault weapons oh, the advocate claimed that assault weapons account for a significant amount of crime, and then later stated that under two percent of guns traced were assault weapons. 2% is not a significant amount. This means that over 98% of crimes committed using guns did not, use, did not involve semi-automatic or automatic weapons. The advocate also claimed that assault weapons are the choice of gun for criminals. If these assault weapons are the choice of guns for criminals, then the percentage of how often they were used in crime would have been much higher than 2%. The claim was also made that drug traffickers, gangs, extreme groups, extremist groups, and terrorists chose assault weapons. A ban on these assault weapons wouldn't stop these lawless people from attaining them. It would only stop the law-abiding citizens to, from purchasing them. Also, it was claimed that the police are outgunned by these assault weapons. This fact should tell us that police need better guns um, because criminals who use the assault weapons um, aren't going to stop using them just because there's a law against it. Secondly, the claim is made that these automatic and semi-automatic rifles are unnecessary and not intended to fulfill sporting purposes. I would like to point out that there are several marksmanship competitions which are considered sport in which semi-automatic semi weapons are used. Um, also, the fact that some automatic and semi-automatic rifles come with pistol grips is irrelevant to this argument. This is because pistol grips are not used by putting them on the hip and opening mass fire. Pistol grips are used as a place to store magazines as a bipod or as leverage when assembling or disassembling a firearm. I would also like to challenge the reasoning behind this argument. Self-defense is the main reason for behind the Second Amendment. So the fact that a firearm is used for sport doesn't determine whether it is used for self-defense and protected under the law. Lastly, the advocate claimed that the Federal Assault Weapons Act ban resulted in a significant decline in their participation in crime. This claim was supported by a statement made by the Brady Campaign. To make this statement, the Brady Campaign used information gathered by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. But the Bureau has said that it can in no way vouch for the vouch for the validity of the Brady campaign claim using their data. Um, also, before the ban was put in place in 1994, gun use and violent crime had already decreased and was at under 5%. So really, the gun ban only decreased assault weapon violence by 3%, which is not a significant amount, and especially not in a 10-year period. Um, by showing that semi-automatic weapons are used less than other types of firearms in crime, they can be used in sport, and there was not a significant drop in assault weapon usage after the ban placed on them. I believe I have proven my opponent's reasoning and claim false. All right, the main claim is listed. Uh, it wasn't clear to me if that third point was the advocate's claim that you were going to be responding to. Uh, you did signpost on your first point when you got to it. The analysis of the 2% uh, information I thought was pretty straightforward and easy to follow. The claim about lawless people being able to obtain the guns, uh, whether or not there was a ban, that's largely asserted. You need to provide some uh, justification for that particular claim. Uh, the inference that the police might need to be better armed, I think that's you know, an interpretation that goes on, uh, depending upon how you're uh, reading that uh, certain sign, I think you could use some information that would uh, support that conclusion. On the uh, necessity, on the on the issue about whether or not it's necessary, you claim uh, that there's a competition, sports that in which uh, marksmanship is you. They use semi-automatic weapons similar to this, and, but I didn't get any evidence to support that. Um, I did get uh, some claims about the function of the pistol grips that I thought was kind of interesting that denies that they are in fact being utilized in the way that the um, advocate's talking about. Uh, 
and, and that that mostly seems like an assertion. I, I don't doubt that it's true. For instance, that that's where the um, the clips go, and that it's about uh, handling the weapon. Uh, the self-defense argument, I think, is your key argument on this point. Uh, it would be nice if you could demonstrate, for instance, that uh, assault weapons are are utilized by people. People purchase them for the purpose of self-defense. Well, uh, if I keep an AK-47 at my house in order to fend off uh, people in the middle of a riot, maybe if they, you know, obtain them in those particular circumstances, that would be an example that would support that particular conclusion. All right, um, and then the argument about the effectiveness, I, I thought it was interesting that uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives uh, doesn't support the claim that's, or the inference that's being made from uh, the Brady camp uh, that claims that it's had that benefit give us a source citation on that. I think it's pretty good. Uh, then there's some argument about minimizing the, uh, the issue. It does sound a little bit like you're rushing, but that's probably because it's late in the evening and you are, in fact, rushing. All right. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys on Monday. Oh, the new assignment is, going, is already posted for you. Would you please look at it, download it, because we need to hit the ground running on Monday on this assignment. Okay.